people start going on here. Hello. Wow, that's really bright. All right, this is my first time going live, so I'm not doing a very good job of it. And I'm doing it on my phone because my computer wouldn't do it, so bear with me, guys. I gotta find something to prop this phone up so that I can um, clean up these fillets that I'm doing right here, if you wanna see. So this is a tuna that we just caught the other day using my Bubba Blade. And what I'm doing is wrapping them in paper towels here. Sort of see because when you wrap them in paper towels and put them in the refrigerator, it kind of sucks up all that blood right there. So I'm gonna try to prop this up. Um, hi, and it's like that light behind me is terrible. Sorry, I can't really prop this up because you can't see what I'm doing while I'm doing it. <laughs> so I didn't really plan this out very well, did I? There we go, this might work. Here, I'll move this out of the way so you can sort of see what I'm doing. I need to get one of those mounts so you can uh, kind of multitask. So I've got my paper towels and I'm super duper tall. So I've got my paper towels um, and I'm just like cleaning up this tuna. I've already started. This is like kind of the stuff that I don't want. Just like fat, bloodline, all that good stuff. And I'm just kind of cutting it into chunks, kind of like this size and wrapping it in paper towels. I'm not gonna stay on here very long guys, um, only because this isn't working as as best as I wanted it to. I was trying to do it on my computer and it wouldn't work, but I wanted to go live with y'all. And, okay, anybody that messages anything that's inappropriate, um, you will be blocked and deleted, so, um, and your comments will be deleted, so I really don't appreciate you, you guys, um, saying anything about taking my clothes off or doing anything of that nature. Um, this is a very professional YouTube channel, so if you don't like it, don't follow, don't subscribe. <laughs> so, um, anyways... Just getting that out of the way. So I have a bunch of um, tuna over here from the other day. And that's what I'm kind of doing it from. Oh, I really wish this I could prop this up. I'm sorry, guys. So here I'm just like getting some more of this. And you don't really want like the dark pieces like this. So I'm kind of getting rid of that stuff and probably gonna cook up, not really cook. Um, I may pan sear some of this or uh, serve it raw with, uh, I like it just raw with soy sauce. That's like my favorite. So bear with me, this is my first time going live, like in the kitchen and all that good stuff. Um, this is my rental. My Mermaid Cove is still under construction and they are downstairs painting it and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys liked the video that I posted yesterday of the Mermaid Cove, kind of like the renovations and everything of it. See, I'm just cutting off like extra meat and stuff. This is fresh yellowfin tuna, you guys. You can't get it fresher than this. Down here in Venice, Louisiana. Sorry, I got some crazy hair going on too. I'm going to off like this too, so I can talk to you. So again, here's just like some more pieces. 
This is like two steamy pieces that I'm gonna use. This is definitely like ones that I wouldn't probably cook. I've got like um, some thicker pieces like this where you can like sear each side and put, um, you can do anything you want. You can do just like, I just had it raw the uh, last night with salt and pepper and it was really good. You just want to cut off like all the extra fat and stuff. So guys, I received my um, plaque in the mail from YouTube stating uh, my silver plaque for hitting 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I really greatly appreciate it. I've worked really hard and I'm trying to... Um, eventually get an editor to help me so I can put, you know, put out more videos for you guys a lot faster. Um, sometimes it's hard for me to obviously travel, um, and film and edit and post. Obviously, um, Wi-Fi is very limited. Wi-Fi down here is strictly, um, uh, really limited. Um, it's very spotty. It's just not good down here because we're kind of at the end of the world, they say. Um, uh, here's some, questions cool guys when are you going back to south africa i don't know that's a good question i would love to go back over there um it's crazy it's already been almost a year and a half since i've been there um i'm still waiting on my mounts from south africa um i don't know thank you guys i appreciate it everybody that's congratulating me on the hundred thousand subscribers I hope you guys really do enjoy my videos. I'm very passionate about it. Um, you know, and I'm learning. I'm not a very good editor. I really suck at editing. Um, and it's very time consuming, like I was saying. That's why like I've been putting out videos this week from a long time ago because I haven't had time to edit. Because I was traveling so much. I, this one's not good. Cut this. Um, I was traveling so much and you know, I had all these, I had everything filmed, but actually having the time to edit and post and then wait for it to upload and then notify everybody that there's a new video uploaded. By the way, there is going to be a video. Um, thanks guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm, I'm really excited about the Mermaid Cove. Um, there is a video that just uploaded successfully. So as soon as I get off this live, if you guys want to check it out, it is a, I did it this morning. It was a bikini try on for Salt Life. They're new bikinis. I'm actually wearing, wearing the outfit still and I'm wearing the bikini top here. <laughs> How cute. I can't really show you. I have like tuna all over my hands, but um, if you guys want to check that out, I just did that and posted it and it's about to go live here in just a few minutes. Um, did I get the flooring in? Not yet. They, so I ordered it last Friday and it told, they told me that it was available or it was in stock. And so then whenever my guy went to go pick it up yesterday to, um, to go ahead and install, we were going to install, what is today? Wednesday. We are going to be installing on tomorrow and Friday and they called me back and said that they don't have it in stock right now and that they're waiting on the truck. So um, the floor probably won't go in until, well, really it won't go in, go in until we get the flooring. It is ordered and paid for, but um, we don't know when it's gonna come in the truck. So it's coming from like Houston, I think. And then they have to bring it all the way down here. So um, it should be, fingers crossed, by like next week. Um, they are finishing painting. I will go do a video. I, I don't hear them down there anymore, so they may have already left or they might still be down there taking a break, but they've been painting for the past two days. I picked out a very like light gray color um, for the walls. And then the floors is also a like a light, um, me like a medium gray as well. So kind of going with those gray colors, just lighter grays. I like gray, white, light brown, stuff of that nature. Um, so anyways, back to this. So this is all the extra, like, just kind of like fat and tendons and everything that I don't really want for my tuna. And I'm just going to put this over to the side and throw it out here in a little bit. 
Um, let me wash my hands. How's everybody doing on this lovely Wednesday afternoon? I was supposed to go on a overnighter tonight fishing and unfortunately we are not going um and apparently this weekend the weather is going to be getting like really choppy so it's like not going to be a good time to go fishing for a little bit probably for like another week or two or i don't know how long it's going to be bad like that but howdy from texas thanks guys i appreciate all the love and support it means so much to me um you know, you guys give me some ideas of stuff that you like and don't like. Obviously, I can't please everybody, but I try to do my best to just be myself. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, the Mermaid Cove is, um, and my rental. I mean, this is a huge, this is actually my rental. I'm, I've am i been staying up here for now, uh, especially with this coronavirus. I hope everyone is healthy and safe out there and you're getting through these hard times. I know it's really been a struggle. Um, it's It's been a struggle here. The bed and breakfast has definitely been put on. It's been not like shut down, but it is like kind of shut down for the time being. Everyone's rescheduling and canceling, unfortunately. So that's a bummer, but it's understandable because people can't travel here. Uh, we were actually allowed to do charters all the way up until a couple of days ago, but I think they put restrictions on even the charters now. So that definitely put a restriction on everything else. But um, we've been trying to fun fish as much as we can. Um, fun fish as much as we can. And because lump season is here, that's where all these big tunas are here and that we're catching them. So we might as well try to fish if we can. Um, obviously social distancing, you're, you're out there with like a few of your friends and that's it. I know people are giving me kind of a hard time about social distancing, but realistically you're, um, you're really with just your people. So on the boat and all that good stuff, but the, the fishing has been incredible. Um, and, and it's late in the game. I mean, we're in April and they're still catching these huge over hundred, 200 pound yellow fin tunas. We had our, our buddies this past weekend actually catch, um, it was like a 230 pound yellowfin tuna and they were like right next to us. It's crazy. Uh, we caught this yellowfin tuna that I'm filleting up right now. Um, and it, we didn't, we didn't weigh him, but we guesstimated, I think like 175. I mean, it took us a few hours to get him in the boat. And... So you guys asked me some questions. I can stay on here for a little longer. It looks like I've been on here for about 13 minutes, but, um, Maybe, I would like to start going live when the Mermaid Cove is complete and I have a, a real kitchen and um, I need to get some mounts and stuff that I can like mount the camera, figure out how to go, how to go live. I couldn't figure out how to go live on my computer. Um, how old am I? <laughs> I'm 30, you guys, I'm 30. Um, and ask me some questions. Hi from South Africa. I've been over there one time. Romania. Hello. <laughs> yeah, swordfish is really good. So you guys, I actually, um, how do you get more information on the bed and breakfast? There's all the link is links are in the, in every description of every one of my videos, or you can just look up www.nicolespence, S-P-E-N-C dot com and go to the bed and breakfast link um if you're interested in coming out here and staying uh what was the other question oh swordfish so swordfish i don't really like swordfish itself um it's it is a really good fish but i don't like it cooked i like it in a ceviche a lot of people have never tried it but swordfish ceviche oh my god like fresh it is so good so like for a ceviche it is lemon and lime and cucumber. I put mango. Um, what else do I put in it? I put cilantro. I put avocado. I put, you can put tomatoes, you put purple onion, you put, you can put whatever you want, but these are the things that I put. Um, peppers. I like to do like the red, yellow, orange, and the green give it some color and everything and you let it the fish like you cut up the fish in like little tiny chunks probably like this big 
and um, you put it with all that stuff chopped up really small and you put it in the fridge and let it sit. And oh my gosh, there's something about swordfish, ceviche. I, it just absorbs the fish, all the all those ingredients absorbs the fish so well or the fish absorbs it so well and it is delicious. And with some like lime, lime chips or whatever. Oh, oh my gosh, guys, it is bomb diggity. Um, ask me some other questions. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm not married. Um, I'm actually single. I don't even have a boyfriend. Um, and no, I'm an only child actually as well. Um, let's see. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Everybody asks me what I do to my teeth. I just, I don't know. I just brush them, I guess, a couple times a day, like normal. Uh, am I going to go to iCast? Yes, absolutely. I'll be at iCast. Um, I haven't booked it. I need to talk to some of my sponsors and see if I'm working for them or if I'm just going to go out there individually. I usually like if I'm going to go, especially coming from Louisiana, you know, that's a good 12 hour, um, 12 hours from Venice, Orlando is. So like where I'm, I'm, I'm from Florida and, um, if I'm going to go all the way out there, I would like to work because that is a long drive. Or even if I have to uh, get a flight and get a rental car and all that stuff, it's kind of a big deal. Uh, thank you, guys. I'm glad you enjoy my video. Thank you. Hi, Fireball Models, hi. <laughs> What's going on, Steven? Uh, I don't really do shout outs yet. Uh, I'm not really there yet. I'm not really sure how that even quite works. Um, I don't think people have shouted me out, so I'm not, you guys tell me. Give, me. give me some ideas on this whole shout out thing. Um, you know, it's taken me years and years and years to even get to this point and I'm nowhere near I even want to be. I really want, I would love to hit a half a million subscribers by the end of the year, which is what I really, really want. Um, but it is quite difficult to gain subscribers. So if you guys are featuring me and shouting me out and getting me going, then yeah, absolutely. I can you know, collaborate with people and, you know, do shout out for shout out and stuff like that. Of course. Um, let's see. Great Lake freshwater or rafted fishing. Have I ever done it? No. Um, thank you. <laughs> My eyes are like a hazel color. Um, they probably, they don't look hazel right now. They look like black because of this sun behind me but um, <laughs> Tampa Bay what's going on thank you guys don't forget I don't have a favorite swimsuit I love swimsuits um Homosassa what's going on Florida uh, I I shoot all kinds of different guns it just depends on what we're doing where we're where we're shooting who i'm with if i have my guns if they have guns i shoot everything cleveland ohio you know my dad is from ohio my grandpa still lives up there uh i'm not a fan of her <laughs> i'm not even gonna name the name um favorite fish to eat this tuna yellowfin tuna i need to get this actually in the fridge Yellowfin tuna is my favorite fish and wahoo. And I like both of them raw. I don't like them cooked. I will eat it like a little bit seared, but I prefer it just soy sauce. And I'm really simple. I don't even like spicy stuff. Just soy sauce and raw. And I'll eat it right off the fish. I mean, we'll catch it, put it on ice for a little bit and I'll, I'll eat it right off the fish. Just It just melts in your mouth if you've never had it fresh like that. Um, mahi mahi is good. That's a, you know, you gotta eat that cooked. I guess you don't have to eat it cooked, but I would want to eat it cooked. Sushi. Yes. Sushi. Mm, this is what I'm eating for dinner. 
<laughs> I'm just letting it, I'm just letting, as you can see, I'll actually show you guys what's kind of happened here with the blood. It's kind of like soaked up, but these paper towels just kind of soaked it up. So that, that was like, that's good. Um, they say whenever you get yellowfin tuna fresh like that, you should put it in paper towels so that it absorbs, I guess, all that blood and stuff. Because you don't want to rinse it. You don't want to rinse your tuna. There's something about putting water on it. Um, I don't know all the exact reasons, but they just say not to. My gosh, you guys have crazy hair. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, well, we've been on here for about 20 minutes, so... Absolutely. So asking about the bed and breakfast. So great question, guys. Um, so the bed and breakfast is owned and operated by me, yours truly. I'm a one woman operation. I do all of the booking, cooking and cleaning. I set up your charters. If you don't have it uh, already prepared, I come over in the morning and I Book a house houseboats depending on you know availability and the size of your party. It is four people minimum to stay with me. And if you don't have a charter lined up and say you come to me and you're like, Nicole, we have six guys, we're coming on a bachelor party and we want to bow fish one night and uh, we want to go inshore fishing another day and then we want to go offshore offshore fishing another day. I can set it all up because I'm partnered up with all of these captains. And I'm partnered up with all the lodges. And so you do everything through me as a one-stop shop. It's so much easier. Um, I do require, obviously, a deposit. Uh, and the deposit goes to everybody. It goes to the lodges, your charters, like everybody. And everything is listed on in every single video that I post, my bed and breakfast. Or you can look up www.nicolespence.com dot com and go to the link of bed and breakfast and it will give you all the details and you just contact us directly and we'll get you all set up um no i don't prefer that you guys message me on instagram um i don't see a lot of messages especially on my personal account on my bed and breakfast i do have people helping me with uh answering emails and phone calls and texts and all that good stuff. So if you guys are seriously interested, you need to reach out to us and we'll get you all squared away. And it is four people minimum. Um, and I highly recommend because I had to reschedule all of this month and all of next month. So all those people are gonna be pushed back to later months of this year. And the space is limited. So, I mean, there's only one of me. So. <laughs> If you guys are really serious about wanting to come down here, I highly, highly recommend that you guys go ahead and put in your deposit. And I know times are rough right now with everything. Trust me, times are really rough for me. I don't, I'm not even up in working business and I'm building a new house downstairs. It's costing me a fortune. I mean, I've spent my entire life savings on this house. So um, the struggle is real. I know I put out there like everything's great and dandy, but yes, the struggle is real for all of us. But if you really are serious and you have a group of people that really want to come down here and they really want to go fishing, this is the fishing capital of the world. I'm telling you, you cannot catch a over 100 ye pound yellowfin tuna and a swordfish and you can max out on your redfish limit on your way in anywhere else in the world. You can't do it. Venice is awesome. So... If you guys want to come down here um, and you would like to uh, meet up and, you know, stay at the bed and breakfast and give me some business, obviously, then, and you're serious, serious inquiries only, please email us or, you know, call the number and get it all set up. We, we do ask that you contact us when you have dates, like solid dates, you know, a solid, hey, I want to come these dates and they're solid with you and your group. Um, you also have a solid head count, so four or more. And yes, I can accommodate up to as many people as you have. If you come to me and say I have 20 people and you, you're coming these dates, I can accommodate it. You just have to let me know in advance so that I can book everything. And you have to let me know what you guys want to do while you're visiting. Or if you want to book your own charters, by all means, you are more than welcome to do whatever you want to do. I just am partnered with them and it is so much easier on the client instead of them going like, who do I go to? I go here, I go there, I owe this person money, I owe this person. It's just so much easier to just go through 
go through me, go through the bed and breakfast, and we'll get you all squared away and taken care of. Um, this is my third year up and running, and we had a lot of struggles the past couple of years. I, I have been trying to get up on my feet, and I'm finally starting to get up on my feet. And this whole house thing is a huge, huge, it's the biggest accomplishment in my, in my entire life. It's the biggest purchase I have ever made in my entire life, and I'm super excited about it. I hope you guys are just as excited for me, and I really want to thank all of you guys. I appreciate all the love and support, um, all the shares, everything. Um, if you guys would like to see anything else, you know, it's mainly about outdoor adventures with Nicole. I know I've had people kind of request like cooking and all that good stuff, but I don't really uh I don't really want to film like inside and cooking and stuff I actually prefer to be outside I prefer doing outdoors so that's kind of like why I based my channel around outdoor adventures because I felt like people would enjoy that so um, my stepmom did say you should film your house because people would really enjoy that and it's I'm so passionate about it that I um I wanted to share it with you guys and I hope that you guys are excited about it too. So, um, bikini haul. Yes, it is going live as soon as I get off this, this thing, you guys keep sending me messages. So let me get off here. It's already uploaded. I just have to go live with it. It's on private right now. When am I going hunting? Well, whenever this coronavirus is done, honestly, uh, I was supposed to go back. I was supposed to go turkey hunting. I've never got a turkey in my life. And I was supposed to go back to Florida and get an Osceola turkey and get to go turkey hunting for the first time. I was so excited. I had I have a few buddies that are like waiting for me to go back, but because of all this stuff with the virus and my house, I have just stayed down here. I've been here for about a month. And I am probably gonna go back, but I have to wait until my house is done. So stay tuned. Hopefully I do get to go turkey hunting. And then I definitely would like to do some hog hunting and coyote hunting while I'm uh, in between the whole turkey hunting and all that good stuff. It is a bummer. Um, but we've just been doing a lot of fishing and crawl fishing. And stay tuned for that because I'm trying to finish that video. Walter and I have been doing, Walter got a bunch of traps and doing the whole crawfish thing. He's like selling it and stuff. So, um, I've started the video and we may go tomorrow to finish that video, but then I have to edit it and upload it. So it might be a little while, but keep a lookout for a crawfish video. And um, I don't know, I like to do, I wanna do a couple different stuff. I have this awesome camera that films at night now. So now I can do like, I can film at night for you guys. So you can actually see what's going on because when I would film before with my, with my GoPro, you couldn't see anything. It was like jet black, so it was kind of like a waste, which really sucks because it was so exciting and fun and I was at different places, but you guys couldn't, I couldn't film, like I filmed and you guys couldn't actually see it. So, um, yeah, I do hog hunting, of course. Um, I just, with this coronavirus, I've been just staying put and been editing <laughs> and uploading and doing stuff for you guys, so, and working from home and all that, but, all right, guys, I am going to get off here and um, everybody keeps coming in, but I'm going to get off here, guys, and go live with this video. Um, so please go ahead and head over there and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and take a look at my new video. It is a bikini try on that I did this morning and I went ahead and edited it and uploaded it and I'm going to go live with it. So. Stay tuned guys, love you so much. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I appreciate everybody. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll catch you later. <laughs>